Thank you very much for clicking this video. I am using VS Code since 2018 and in this time I tried plenty of VS Code theme as well as extensions. In this video I will let you know which VS Code theme I like to use as well as how I customize this as well as for my working which extension I use every now and then and why I use them. So if you are interested keep watching. So as you can see this is my screen and here you can see VS Code is available for every operating system no matter if it's Windows, Mac or Linux. And you can download your VS Code for your machine from codes.visualstudio.com slash download. Definitely you will get the link in the description. So if you are here you can download VS Code for your computer and it's free. After you downloaded VS Code, in that case your VS Code will look something like that. So first of all what I do, I will go settings and then settings. And if I come here, in that case you can see this is the thing. I always feel VS Code default font size is a bit smaller. In that case I prefer to use 20. And also I like to change the font family. I don't like to see the font family like this. I like to use Fira code. And another one is operator mono. Definitely you need to install this font on your computer otherwise it will not work precisely. So if you want to download this in that case you can search them on Google or you will get the link in the description here you will get everything organized so stay tuned. And here I want to change this tab size to 2 not actually uh, 4 okay. And also I need a word warp otherwise it will actually look very horrible. I will have a scroll bar in the bottom section. I don't want to show that scroll bar here. In that case, actually, I do that. Also, which extension I use for my project, I will let you know right now. So first extension I want to use that is auto close tag. So this is the extension. As a developer, every now and then I need to write HTML. And when you will write HTML, in that case, if you write a tag or if you create a tag, in that case, this extension will automatically close the tag. It's very helpful to use. So if you use this extension in that case, you can write code faster. So I highly recommend you to use that. And now I will install this. Second extension I like to use that is auto rename tag. And if you use this tag in that case, if you change the opening tag automatically, it will change your closing tag. So if I want to give you an example in that case, what I will do, I will create a folder here on my desktop. So you can see right now I have here a blank HTML folder and here I can write index.html and now here if I write here h1 and if I write here some text like uh, some text okay. Now suppose I want to change the tag in that case what I can do instead of h1 if I want to write h6 in that case you can see I, I need to write here h6 and also I need to write here h6 so it will work. Suppose I have here a big section like section I the hero area and then I can write here bootstrap class container class row class call md12 you can see this is that area now I want to change this section to div in that case what I need to do I need to write here div and also I need to write here div it's not a productive task right so in that case what I can do I can use the extension called auto rename tag so this is the tag so now if I install this one in that case what will happen you can see now I am in HTML now, so now suppose I want to change this div to section in that case I will write here section so if I do in that case it will change this closing tag also so it's very handy right and also it's productive that's why I like to use this extension and also I recommend you to use this extension next extension is HTML CSS support this extension is very helpful to use like if you have a style sheet and also a index file and if you use a tag and now if you want to write that tag on your CSS in that case it will give you a suggestion if you use this tag. So if I write here HTML CSS support this is the extension so I highly recommend you to use this extension it's very easy and also straightforward feature. Now as a developer you need to write JavaScript every now and then. And if you're interested to write JavaScript and also if you're interested to write JavaScript faster, in that case, you can use an extension called JavaScript Code Snippet. So if you use this extension, I need to write here JavaScript Code. So this is the extension. I will install this. So if you install this, in that case, you will able to write JavaScript faster. You can see here I have plenty of uh, actually uh, shortcut. So if you try to use them 
every now and then in that case you will able to memorize them and also if you use them in that case you can type your code faster suppose i want to create a new file called app.js and now here i need to write console log so in that case i will write here clg and then if i press tab in that case it will type console log for me as well as you can see here a plenty of option so suppose you want to write there a for loop in that case you can write here fof so if you write here fof and then tab in that case you can see it will create a for loop for you so this extension will help you to write javascript faster i highly recommend this extension if you need to write javascript every now and then next extension is live server so why live server live server will help you to write code as well as see the output instantly without saving and also thing so if i want to give you an example how actually live server work first of all i will come here and live server will not work uh, this way in that case what i will do i will cut actually uh, complete thing from here and here i will write a bracket uh, thing if you need a video about vs code shortcut you can let me know i will try to create a video for you so you can see i just have a boilerplate basic and then now i type this now if i want to open this project with my browser in that case what i will do you can see this is the thing i can actually uh, place them side by side now suppose i want to change this text so in that case i can write here some text and also i can write another text now if i want to see its output in that case i need to save this right now and then i need to reload this in that case it will give you the output but it's not productive right sometime you might need to see the output instantly so if you want to see output instantly in that case you can use the extension live server so live server so you can see this is the extension i will install this so after you install this extension you can see it's installed right now if i right click in that case it will give you a option open with live server so if you click here in that case your web page will open with your default browser so if i click here in that case right now my default browser is firefox in that case you can see it's opened with firefox so right now what will happen if i change some text or if i want to take here a p and inside this p if i write here lorem 20 and if i press uh, tab again and if i press save in that case it will automatically refresh or i don't need to refresh this browser every now and then so it's a productive thing i recommend you to use this extension next one is live sas compiler recently most of my project i need to use sas and when i write sas i need a compiler to compile everything for me and in vs code i have a extension that is sas uh, live sas compiler and this compiler will help you to compile everything on your browser as you already know sas do not detect properly by the browser so uh, if you write sas code and your sas code will compiled by the compiler and it will make a plain css for you and every now and then i don't change anything on my sas file in that case what i do i actually make everything minimized and then i saved everything on my css so how everything work i want to let you know right now so the extension's name is live sas compiler if you search here live sas compiler in that case you will able to see that popular live sas compiler is not working right now it's outdated in that case i recommend you to use this one both of them works precisely so i recommend you to do that so if you use this live sas compiler in that case what will happen now if i take here a file called custom dot scss sas file and here if i write something suppose if i write here a variable in that case i can write dollar sign color and i can write here uh, red color so i can write dollar sign ff1234 okay so this is a variable and then now i want to use this variable on my p in that case i can write here p and here i can write color and my color can be dollar sign color okay i just do that or instead of that i can simply write here red so i can write here red so you can see here I have a sas code right so now when you install live sas compiler in that case in the bottom section you will see a option watch sas so if you click watch sas in that case it will generate a custom.css file where you will see everything simple i need to save this so if i save in that case you will able to see the css style code and also it will generate a map file which i don't need most of the time so i don't like to do everything this way in that case actually i like to change its setting so if i want to change the setting in that case i will go to the settings and then again setting and i will open this and here this is the setting 
and here what i do i actually uh, use a libsys compiler format definitely i will provide this and also you will get this in the video description so here you can see the format is compressed meaning i will not change anything on my custom.css file i will not do anything so if it's a minified version in that case my project size will be lower and definitely if my project size is low in that case my website will load first in that case i will use here compressed and definitely it's a compressed so its extension should be main.css and also uh, i would like to organize my thing in that case it would be great if every css file on my css folder so if i save this in that case what will happen now you can see this is my custom.scss now i will stop this watsas file and now if i click watsas once more in that case it will generate a css folder for me and where you will see everything okay so i recommend you to use this and also it's good and also you can see one more thing and that is it's actually created a map file which i don't need in that case i will use another uh, setting so what i will do now i will come here and i will use this setting so if i do in that case it will not generate any file or any map file okay so now i will delete this css folder and once more i will click this wasas file so if i do in that case right now you will see here i have a css folder but here i don't have any map file okay so that's why actually i use this setting so this is another extension which one i highly recommend you to use you can see this icon looks better in vs code but i don't like to use them i actually like to use material uh, material icon so i will write here material material icon theme so i will install this so if you install in that case you can see everything will have now own color you can see folder color css color everything looks better so i like to use this icon theme which icon theme you like to use don't forget to let me know in the comment section i am a wordpress developer and every day i need to write wordpress in that case if i have a wordpress snippet as like javascript it will help me to write wordpress faster so i like to use a wordpress support or wordpress snippet extension so i write here wordpress so this is the extension i will install this one so if you use this extension in that case it will help you to write your wordpress faster so suppose i need to write here a uh, index.php file in that case i can write here index.php and here i can write php okay and now suppose i want to show my title in that case i can write here the underscore title so you can see it will give you all supported or all important uh, suggestion so you can use your own suggestion and if you click in that case it will give you more option so i like to use this snippet if you are a wordpress developer highly recommended this extension recently many project i need to use react and as a react developer also i have a snippets which help me to write react faster so if you need to write react in that case you can write here simple react snippet so this is the extension i will install this so if you install this extension in that case also it will help you to write react code faster so highly recommended if you are using which vs code extension you like to use don't forget to let me know in the comment so community people will know about it so let's talk about theme which theme i like to use on my project or on my computer so first theme which i like to use that is dracula official so if i click here install in that case you can see this is the dracula official theme which one i like most and also you can see everything is vibrant and i like to see vibrant colors so you can see this is dracula official theme which i like most and second favorite theme which i like that is night owl so this is the theme if i click install and if i select in that case you can see this is the theme which one i like most you can see this night owl theme also looks better but recently i like to use a theme that is andromeda so this is the theme which one recently i like most so if i install in that case you can see this looks something like that but in this theme i just face some issue suppose you can see this is the sidebar section this is the coding section this is minimap section and this is the terminal everywhere actually it have same color which one i don't like in that case actually i like to customize its color thing so if i want to customize its color in that case what i will do you can see this is the settings.json here actually you can write this code so if you save in that case you will able to see all separation so now i want to show you my total complete vs code setting so uh, this is the uh, github profile you can see if i open definitely you will get the link in the description so if i come here in that case you can see this is the setting so i can copy this from here 
and I can paste the complete setting from here. So if I do in that case, you can see now this code or uh, this Visual Studio code looks better. And also firstly, I used here Operator Moro and also Fira code as my main font family. And also here is the font size 20, tab size 2, word warp on. As well as you can see cursor smooth animation is true. As you can see, it's actually have an animation and cursor blinking is expand for that reason. You can see it looks something like that. And if I add animation in that case, you will able to see a animation when you will type. Okay, that's the thing. And also here is format on save. So when you will save something, it will automatically format and also format on paste. You will able to see. So you, if I come here and now if I click save in that case, you will see everything is formatted. That is the reason why actually I added the setting. And also here is the color batch what I said earlier. And also you can see everything I added here. So if you interested to see and also if you interested to tweak everything you can do no problem at all. So now you can see here is the setting you can just click here and it will be copied and also you can paste it on your project. As I said before all extension I use on my project here have all and also the theme I like to use and also the theme I customize that is here. Okay. Here is the font info, Fira code as well as operator mono. So if you need to download this font, you will be able to download this. I think this video is helpful for you. And also if you think this video is helpful for you, don't forget to click a star on my GitHub as well as don't forget to click a like button on this video. And if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. So when I will publish a video, you will notify. If you interested to learn about VS Code shortcut, let me know. I will create a video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and stay safe. I am Ali Hossain signing out.